So my grandma asked me to make her a shirt. I decided I would record the process for you all to watch. It took us a few days to decide on a design. She wanted a skull with chains, so I did my best to make something she'll enjoy wearing. I recorded quite a long clip of me sketching out these, but you know, my first video over three minutes, I'm just gonna look at it as an achievement. I really do love the other designs that I made on this page, and I thought that maybe I would use this lovely grandma's head in a jar as a different drawing, so we'll see what I do with that. Really, the overall theme for this was just a shirt for spooky month. Originally, the back of the shirt was supposed to have two hands with a full skeleton in the middle of them, but I did not end up doing that because I unfortunately lost motivation. Whenever I go to paint on fabrics, I always like to mix my water with some fabric softener. It really doesn't matter what brand it is, just as long as you mix some fabric softener with your water, this way your paint will go on smoothly and it will blend easier. You'll want to put a piece of cardboard inside of your shirt or clothing that you're using. The paints that I used here were white and black in speedball fabric paint. I started with the shape of the skull in the middle of the shirt. I used one of her Halloween decorations as a reference. This was a bit challenging since I don't do many skulls. Proportions and anatomy were hard, especially where I placed the eye cavities and nasal bone area, but I did try my best and I would definitely say that I am very proud of how it turned out. I do not have much else to say. I'll let you watch the rest. If you do enjoy it, please like and subscribe. Comment your social media handles in the comments if you would like so I can check out all your October art so that I can check out all of your October art and again, thank you and have an amazing spooky month.